After my friend James showed me how to take apart my Bariant 28 winch for servicing, I was very motivated to get the rest of them done. And although I've already serviced this winch, I thought I would just show everyone how I disassembled it and reassembled it. There weren't that many tools required for this project. I've got this little homemade handle with adjustable set screws in it that James gave me. That's to remove the center ring. A uh, set of Allen keys. Flathead screwdriver. I've misplaced my hammer with the hard plastic end, so I'm using this and I'm placing this in between it. If I need to tap any of the metal, I'll show you why I use this uh, little wrench with the angled uh, end on it. And that is it for tools. The product that I use to degrease uh, all the parts of the winch is this citrus base cleaner. It's by 3M and it uh, did a really good job. The grease that I use is Lumar Gear Grease and it's uh, specially formulated for things like winches, windlasses, steering gears, bearings. So to remove the drum it would appear that you would have to remove these four uh, set screws, I'll call them, but these just control the position of the uh, self-tailor here. So all I need to do actually is take out this center ring and that's what that special tool will do that I showed you. Now that the drum is off, all I need to do is loosen off these four set screws. But before I do that, I want to take off these two sets of bearings. So let's take a look at the underside. And now you can see the gears and that it's, they're all held in with this plate here. And there's uh, these three set screws that hold the plate on. And there's another set screw here. And you don't actually have to remove this yet at this point. We can just take these three screws out and then I will uh, remove the plate and we can do that after. These two screws are going to be shorter. And this one the front will be longer. Now before I remove the plate there's a little tiny tube in there for the longer screw so when you take the plate off it may fall out and it looks like it's well it's a loose piece so you don't have to worry that it's a broken piece or anything it's just a little cylinder that keeps it uh, protected from the gears. Now the reason that I use this tool you'll see is I mentioned before I need this angled part of it and what I need to do is place this in here and I just gently tap with the hammer just to get this loosened off a little bit and removed from the other piece here and then I can just even just with my hand I can just work this little screwdriver and take the plate off evenly There we go, that's off. And now you can see even better all those gears. Now the first thing I'm going to take off now that I've got all this exposed is the center set of bearings here. Here's this little piece I told you that was going to come loose. 
for that longer set screw. And for me, I want to take off this large gear first. There's a big washer attached to it. So you just slide it off. I don't know what you call this, but this has got the uh, little tabs for the clickers. That comes off as well. And if I was to keep it all together, then it has a small bearing and a larger one. And that's everything for that set of gears. So I'm going to clean all those first and then I'm going to put them in a little pile and I know it goes here. Now I'm going to take off this next set which is just a single gear and a bearing. It's just these two pieces. Now to get the center set of gears off I need to put my allen key here but if I turn this it just turns the top of the winch so I have to use my winch handle there and now I can loosen that off and when you pull this out it pulls a little washer out with it or spacer now I can pull this piece out and it may be a little bit tight on there if you pull this piece out first that's what that looks like the next piece to come would be the gear and it's got a little lowered edge here so you need the flat edge on the bottom against the washer and then there's the washer now the last thing to do is pull out the center piece and you'll notice there's going to be a set of bearings right at the top and there's also a set of bearings right there I'm not sure if you can see it I don't think they'll come out that way so those bearings are on, on the centerpiece still. And this one, I just pull out that way. And that's it. Everything is off. And here is what the Bariant 28 winch looks like all in pieces. So because I'm running out of daylight here, I'm going to time lapse putting it back together to speed things up. But before I do that, I'll just show you a couple things. You could take these little tabs out. Not sure if the camera can see that, but there's little tiny springs in there. And what else? Oh, I'm going to apply a thin layer of grease to everything. Uh, you don't want to have too much grease, I've been told. So you just want to have a thin layer on everything that's moving. And... I'll apply a little bit of grease on the set screws when I put them back in.